Hey guys, today I want to tell you about a few of my favourite design resources. The first one is the Noun Project. The Noun Project is a community of designers who design icons for different nouns. And I guess I sort of use it as a bit of an illustration dictionary, meaning that if I need to draw something, I'll go onto the Noun Project first and sort of see what sort of symbols and things that other people have drawn to represent that thing. A lot of the icons are actually free to download and use as well, so you might not even have to bother drawing one yourself. There's definitely a lot of talent on this site, so I recommend checking it out next time you have to do an illustration or you need an icon for something. If I need a display typeface for something, or maybe I want a new typeface to incorporate in my t-shirt designs, then the first place I always go to is the Lost Type Co-op. Lost Type is a pay what you want type foundry, and that means that all of these wonderful typefaces you could actually get for free if you wanted to put in zero dollars, but I like to donate a few dollars every time I get one just because you know, people have worked hard on them, and they're really great typefaces too. They have become really popular these days though, so just make sure that the typeface you're choosing hasn't been overused everywhere already. This next one is one that I used a lot while I was at uni in doing motion graphics, and that is Video Copilot. Video Copilot is run by a guy named Andrew Kramer, and he puts up amazing After Effects tutorials. Seriously, there's so many awesome resources in here, so just search for anything that you might be wanting to do in After Effects and I can pretty much guarantee that Andrew Kramer will have done a tutorial on it. His tutorials are really easy to follow and I think that I actually learned more from Andrew Kramer than I did from my tutors at university when it comes to actually using After Effects as a program. Next up I want to tell you about my favourite designer slash letterer and that is Jessica Heesh. I think that's how you say her name. She has an awesome website and it's not only full of her amazing lettering work but she's also got some great resources in there for designers who are just starting out. Even though I'm not an illustrator or a letterer, I find her really inspiring. And speaking of Jessica, at the moment she has a class up on a website called Skillshare where she's teaching how to draw a drop cat. I'm fairly new to Skillshare, but basically it's a website where talented people will teach you how to do things. All of the classes have pre-recorded video lessons, so you can do them at your own pace and in your own time. Jessica's class is the first one that I've done on Skillshare, but I'm really loving it, so I feel like once I finish that, I'm going to find a different one to enrol in and just sort of always have one on the go. So those are a few of the websites that I go to for design, inspiration and learning. I'll leave links to them all in the description box, so check that out if you want to go have a look at the sites for yourself. And please leave in the comments any sites that you love for design inspiration, because I'm always on the hunt for new ones. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!